two seconds in. I've already made a mess. This is going well. <laughs> oh my god, hello and welcome back to my channel. I have been wanting to do this video ever since I started my YouTube channel and honestly, I'm so glad the day has finally arrived. In today's video, we are finally going to be doing a room reveal. Now, if you didn't see it already, I actually had a little shot with me video just beforehand, and that was just a little bit of a behind the scenes as to what I went and collected. So if you haven't seen it and would like to see it, I'll put it up here somewhere for you. This particular client of mine is about to go ahead and sell their home. And this bedroom that they had didn't have much going for it and they really wanted to just style it and make it look nice for any potential buyers that walk through. Now the main thing that they wanted to ensure was that the space felt large and also felt customizable for anyone. So the goal for myself was to go ahead and create a neutral bedroom that felt quite large. As you'll see in some of the clips now, it is not a big bedroom but it does have some built-in closet space, a nice window and it does have a bed in there. Now the bed is the thing that is staying, everything else is going thankfully so we are going to be trying to make sure that the bed and the bed base that they already have is going to look cohesive in the space that I want to design. So I'm going to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes of the video of collecting some of the items that I went ahead and got and a little bit of a hiccup that went ahead along the way and at the very end we will go ahead and look at the beautiful room reveal. Let's head into the video. Beautiful. What else we got in here? Oh, yep. That's our bed sheets. to the bed. Okay, so far we have got the mirror and the plant. I actually made a mistake with the curtains because I did not check the height size of the ceiling, which is rookie mistake number one. So I'm going to have to go get that one fixed up. Uh, so now I'm just going to be making the bed. So I've got a really nice new duvet cover, uh, new pillows, and I've got some uh, blankets as well. Not sure if you guys can see any of that but this is what we're working with currently so i found this lovely blanket in the cupboard i'm thinking of incorporating it because obviously we got a lot of white going on we want more textures and neutrals loving the mirror that's for sure and the plant is getting there and see the thing is without a headboard 
this doesn't have you gotta create layers and levels so I found those two back two and I like them but it's a little bit too much square on square you kind of got to like mix it up a little bit so I think I might put them at the back and then I'll layer everything out and look at it again This looks good. So, for future reference for everyone, this one here is a smidge too big, but in truth, these two blue ones are actually too small for all the other pillows. So, the unfortunate thing with Kmart is they snob out a little bit in terms of the size of a pillow, and now don't get me wrong, it look nice, but you look a little bit more luxurious if they were the right size. <laughs> <sighs> we're halfway there, almost done. Oh, it doesn't fit. God damn it. Alrighty, so it is day two technically and today was our like first day of starting to update things and start converting it all and we got our mirror in which looks great and I'm trying to like cover as much of the bed as possible because I don't want you seeing it all. Um, the only problem is, is we haven't fixed up the curtains which is something I'm going to go do hopefully this weekend. And the bedside table, there's something wrong with it. I think that the pre-drilled holes are incorrect and it doesn't close properly. So we will be fixing that and hopefully the last little bits of styling will be done very, very soon. Yay! Okay, so it is a couple of days later and I finally had the time to go ahead and try and get my curtains fixed up. So I got these from Ikea and I did a rookie mistake. I uh, didn't measure twice and cut once as uh, some tradies like to say and pretty much I got curtains too big. So these are 250 centimeters and I'm actually requiring 220 centimeters and Ikea actually doesn't have the size that I'm looking for. So today we are going to be trying to see if we can take it to a alter them to see if they can alter it for us and in theory this shouldn't cost too much but I'm not too sure so we'll see <laughs> let's find out curtains acquired we are now at Kmart for the final touches it's kind of the thing that I was looking for but the quality ain't great and it looks a bit sad so I'm trying to find something small that hangs but it doesn't look like they've unfortunately got anything at the moment that really droops down much <sighs> we'll find something 
Oh boy, okay, so that was a little bit more expensive than I thought it was gonna be, but it's cheaper than getting new curtains, so we'll keep it at that. <laughs> I think alterations are great if you're wanting to customize a space or if you need to just make some small adjustments. However, clothing alteration and then alteration of furniture and materials, slightly different didn't know that but hey it's a learning process so at least this is going to be done today and hopefully we'll be able to do the final touches okay so I had just gotten here with my little Kmart haul just for some little decor pieces and uh, <laughs> the homeowner has actually gone ahead and added a few things themselves and honestly I actually really like it it looks really nice and it's a little bit more unique than something that you get from Kmart Typically because everybody uses Kmart, everybody knows when they see Kmart things. Whereas these cuties are not, and I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and return everything I just got from Kmart and put up this curtain and I think we will be done. On to the reveal. Alrighty, as I said at the beginning of this video, we were aiming for a neutral space that anyone could feel comfortable in. And I feel like I did create this with some warmer tones in there. So any of you that like those blush pinks and those very subtle botanicals, this is a space that you may find complete solace in. And I'm really, really proud of the way it turned out, even with the hiccups along the way. Now, before I show you what the room looks like, there are a few things that I would like to quickly mention that I would like to change in the future if I had some more time. Now the first thing would be to actually make sure I got the right sized pillows because there were two came up pillows that were a little bit smaller than what I was expecting even though I knew the dimensions for them. Once I actually got them in person I was like okay that's okay and the other thing as well of course was the curtains so this was something that was just a rookie mistake by myself. I didn't do the measure twice rule and I got the wrong size. So in the future, obviously I'd like to minimize the potential of that happening. But with that being said, let's look at the room. Wow, oh my gosh, okay. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that video and really enjoyed the transition of the room going from bit sad to fab. I know I definitely enjoyed the process myself and there were a lot of little fun adventures that went ahead along the way. If you liked this video, make sure you go ahead and like and leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite part of the room was. And this will give me a great indication for my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.